All right, I'm back with round two. Wow, two videos in one day. I'm on a roll. Okay, so this video is just to show you a different way to take your GoodNotes stickers, transfer them out of GoodNotes, and then reinstall them into Noteful. And this is going to be very good for those individuals who don't have the PNG files, um, whether you purchased them from a shop and just got the good notes files or you deleted the PNG files to save space. We've all done that. Um, this, this might be helpful for you. This might be another way for you to do it instead of individually picking each sticker and then, you know, copying and pasting it out of good notes into Noteful. OK, so I'm not saying that this is going to be any easier or any better. I mean, for me, it is. But, you know, I'll let you be the judge of that. This will just be another way that you can do it if you choose to do it this way and you own one of the affinity applications. OK, so here I have these stickers and um, let's say I don't have the PNG files. I just have the good note sticker books and now I'm changing over to Noteful and I want to transfer these over there. So how I would go about this is I would take this page, export it out of GoodNotes as a PDF, and then I'm going to import that PDF into Affinity. And from Affinity, I'm going to export everything out as individual PNGs that then I can copy and paste into Noteful. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like. So first off, you're going to locate the page that you want to get all the stickers off of. And I want you to remember that PDFs are like carriers, okay? The PDF document is a carrier. That's why we, we it preserves everything that you put on it. It preserves the quality. That's why we love using it when we're doing text because they stay pixel perfect, not even pixel perfect, vector perfect, okay? So everything that's on this PDF right now, when I export it out of here, it's going to be contained with the original file, um, the original quality, and all that good stuff. So it, it's wonderful in that sense, okay? So I am going to go ahead and click the export. I'm going to export this page, and it's going to be exported as a PDF. Now you want to export it as a flattened PDF, it gives you two different options, editable and flattened. So make sure that flattened is toggled, okay? So you're going to go ahead and export that. And you want to save it to your files somewhere that you're going to be able to find it easily. I'll just keep it in my downloads, all right? After you do that, you can get out of there. And then I am going to go into Affinity Photo. And I am going to import that document from my downloads into Affinity Photo, okay? And you don't have to change anything on here, just hit OK. Okay, so now you have the PDF that contains all the stickers on it. So now what? So now we gotta do a little bit of cleanup because a PDF is gonna hold every single thing that's been put on that PDF. And obviously we don't want all of it. We don't want the background. We don't want the numbers across the top, the little border on the sides of this page. So if you open up your layers, you're gonna see that it's gonna contain everything that's on there, okay? So what we can do is everything in here that is an image, we're going to want to keep because it's going to be these. It's going to be what we actually want to export out of here. Okay, so that's an image. So you'll see them here in your layers panel. All of your images are here. Just give them a second to load. There's a lot on this particular document. But you see there's, a, there's numbers. We don't want that. We have all the, you know, these curves. We don't need all that. Um, if we scroll down, there's like the page header. We don't need that. So you'll find that a lot of your stickers, a lot of your images will be up top because that's the uppermost layer of the PDF document, okay? And then all of the stuff for the background of the document will be in the bottom. So knowing that, what we're going to do, except for the top, I don't know why we always get like this top blank layer there. You can delete that, okay? Then you're going to scroll past your images and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mass select a lot of these things. So I'm going to tap on that four. 
I'm going to go over here to my command controller. And if you don't have this on in your application, if you go up here to the little hamburger menu and then you toggle the command controller, this option right here. Um, it'll turn it on and off. And I recommend leaving that on because it gives you the ability to do different things, okay? Kind of like your shortcuts on a MacBook or things of that nature, it'll allow you to do them here, like if you were using the desktop version of this application. So I'm going to go with that, and then I'm going to tap on this up arrow here. And that's going to allow me to scroll all the way to the bottom, tap that, and it's going to select everything that I want to remove. And I'm going to hit delete, okay? So then... That's all I had to do for that. So now I'm just left with my images on the page. As you can see, all those other things went away. And then I'm going to tap on that first one, the first image. And I'm going to do that up arrow again. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to tap on that bottom one. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to remove these masks. You see how be next to every image there's a mask? I don't need that, okay? So I will click on that little second icon up top there, and I'm going to rasterize and trim all of that. And what that's going to do is it's just going to convert everything into a pixel, okay? Like without the mask. It was already pixel-based from the, from the beginning, but... Now it's all without all the extra stuff, all right? So that's all you have to do. You have to remove all those bits and pieces that you don't want exported out of here in preparation for you to be able to get all these individual PNG images, okay? So once you have all that done, you're going to tap over here on the personas, okay? So right now we are in the Affinity Photo persona, and we're going to switch over to the Affinity Export persona. So if you tap on that little icon, you'll see some options there, photo, liquefied, develop, tone mapping, and export. We're going to want to go to export, okay? So tap on export, and it's going to bring you into this screen. So this screen is going to allow you to export everything out of this page as individual PNGs, okay? And, that, and that's what we need. We need that information to get it into Noteful in one go, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to select this little arrow or selection button there. And we're just going to draw a square around everything. And that's just letting Affinity know that we want to make selections out of everything on here. So you see that there's a little square around every image now. Over here on your right-hand side, you're going to tap on the second icon, which is the layers. And everything is highlighted that we put a selection around by just drawing that big square. Okay, once you do that, create that slice. You're creating a slice. And that's just taking a piece of everything that you did and making it individual. Okay, and you see that the dimensions of each of these images are now in those little squares. So you know that they're individual. Okay, once you do that, you're going to tap back on that first icon, the slices one. And you see where you see this ellipse menu on the side next to export all, I want you to tap on that. And you're just, it's going to default to 1x, which is what you want. Um, we're not trying to make these images bigger. We want them to be at the initial quality that were put on this PDF. If for some reason you wanted to increase the size of them, you can. Um, you could do it by two times and by three times, but I'm going to leave it at 1x, the standard, which means what we're working with already within this PDF document, okay? Once you've Establish that. Um, here, you're going to get a bunch of options for different file formats that you may want to export out of this persona. Um, a lot of them obviously are not going to, not a lot of them, but some of them are not going to apply to these particular images. Like you can't take um, these pixel-based ones, these pixel images, and then export them, let's say, an, as an SVG. It's really not going to do anything, okay? That's if you were working with curves and things of that nature. Um, but for this, say you don't want to export it as a PNG and you want to do it as a JPEG or you want to do it as a TIFF, depending on what type of format you need, you can actually change that here, okay? I want the stickers to have a background that's 
transparent. So I am going to keep it as a PNG. Okay. And for most purposes in digital planning, that's what we're going to want to do. We're going to want to keep it at PNG. So that's there just so that you know that there is different formats that you can export as well. Okay. Once you do that, you are going to hit export all. Okay. And that's going to open up a menu and it's going to ask you where you want them to go. So let's do that. Export all. Your downloads folder is going to come open and then you're going to pick a folder where you want all of these images to go. I've already set up a PDF test just so that I know where I'm going to put them. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And you may want to do that before if you know you're going to export a lot of images out of there. Um, just set up a folder so that you know where to find them. Okay, so I'm going to hit open that. So now we selected the folder where all of these images will be going. I am now going to tap on export all. Okay, so now it's going to export everything out. And it's done. So now let's go check. I'm going to get out of there and I'm going to open up my folders and I'm going to go to PDF test. Okay. So then here are all those um, 54 images that it exported. All right. And it's going to give you a background. And what you can do with that background is you can actually drag that into Noteful if, you're, if you want to be very specific about, you know, you want to retain the way that the page looks. You can actually put that into Noteful and then use that as a template to set up your stickers if you want it to look exactly the way that you had it in GoodNotes, okay, or the way that it came from the shop that you purchased it. I'm really not that particular, but it's there, it's an option, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so now we have all of our images here within this PDF. I'm going to click out of there, and I'm going to jump into Noteful, okay? So here's a, a sticker book that I want to take those images and put them in here. So say you want to be particular. You can go ahead and drag that one image in here, and then you can resize it to fit this page. And this is not a transparent background because it's a background okay but you can actually bring that in you can size it up however you want um, if I were doing it this way I would reduce the opacity just so that I, I see kind of like the layout of it but it doesn't interfere when I bring the stickers in so I'll leave that to yeah, about 24 that's fine and then I'm going to send that to the back layer I don't think I have a layer set up in here. No. So let me add this layer and then I'm going to just go ahead. Yeah. I'm gonna, let me lock that and leave that on the lock layer. And then I'm going to work on this second layer just so you see what I'm doing. Okay. Once you have this, once you're in here and you're in, in Noteful, you have two options. You can either import all of those stickers into your sticker collection right here. You can tap on this plus, you can import the file, you can go to your downloads, um, PDF test, and you can select all minus that background, which I could always delete out of there once I get it in. Let me just delete that. And then you can open. And then I'm just going to create paper hearts collection okay so then now they're all in here all 54 in one go no copy paste they're just there and then you can pull them out of here and then put them into your sticker you know just you can do it this way if you'd like if you you know want to go ahead and pop them back into a sticker book you can do it that way, um, one by one, okay? Or what you can do if you don't want to put everything into that collection file and you want to have your sticker books, like you have a, a sticker pal or something like that, what you can do then is hit select, select all, hit this little ellipse, copy those 54 items okay 
I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit. I'm going to tap over here and I'm going to paste all those in. So now they're all in here. Oop. Actually, I want to resize that and get them all in here. Okay. Keep forgetting to delete that one. So now all the stickers are in here. Um, and then you can, you know, put them in and fit everything the way that... Oop, I stretched that one out. Do you guys notice that if you stretch something out in Noteful, it kind of like snaps back to the initial like if you just put it back i think that's pretty cool too it's just like those little things like that that i really like okay so then you can um you know just kind of you know use this as a puzzle piece and put all your pieces back together i'm not that particular like i you know what they're as long as they're in here and i can select them i'm gonna be totally happy but i just wanted to show you guys that that's a quick way i mean in my opinion it's quicker um, once you get the hang of it, it literally takes you like less than five minutes to do this. Uh, and you can move entire sheets from your sticker book into Noteful. Okay. So again, let's just, just a quick recap. So you're going to go into good notes. You're going to export the page as a PDF and it's going to be a flattened PDF. Okay. You're going to save it to your files. You're going to pop into affinity and you can do this in affinity photo and, or you could do it in affinity designer whichever you have okay another reason why i think these softwares are just so good they're worth the ten dollars when they're on sale because there's so many uses for them um not just just removing backgrounds or changing colors of things or creating your own widgets i mean it's perfect for digital planning but like at the very core um, it just has some really good functionality that you're not going to find in, you know, other programs. Okay. Sorry, I keep going on tangents. So anyway, then you're going to come into Affinity. You're going to import that PDF and then you're going to clean it up. You're going to remove all the bits and pieces off of this PDF that you don't want. In order to do that quickly, you're going to use your command controller with the arrow up to mass select and then delete. OK, you should be left with a white background like this and just your images that you want to export. OK, once you do that, you're going to go up to this um, persona icon. You're going to switch over to export and you're going to do um, a square around it to mass select everything with that little arrow button. And then you're going to go over to your slice screen. And you're going to create that slice. And then you're going to see that the dimensions of every image are going to be on there. After you do that, you're going to just double check and make sure that you're on PNG. And that's what you want. And that you're on one time. And that's what you want as well. You're going to export all. And if you have not chosen the folder, it's going to prompt you to, cho to choose a folder for it to go to. And then once you come back in here, after choosing your folder, you're going to hit export all and then everything will go into that folder for you. OK, after you do that, you're going to go into Noteful and then you're either going to import that file into your sticker collection or you are going to select all of those images in that folder and then copy paste them into Noteful and then you can rearrange them the way that you want. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Give it a shot if you do have it and you're in this situation where you're trying to switch everything over. I think it's definitely going to save you some time. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.